Having integrity means that you live according to your deepest value. You're honest with everyone and you always keep your word. Integrity is a highly valued trait in everyone. Stand for the right thing, always. Welcome and thanks for joining us on another episode of The Eagle. My name is Aisha Muhammad and it is my pleasure to welcome you on board this ship. A ship that informs and educates you on the activities of the ERCC and ways for everyone to contribute in having a corrupt free country. Sure, you're wondering why I am dressed the way I am today. Well, firstly, it's because I am a proud Nigerian. And today on the episode, we have a package for you where all Nigerians are calling for every citizen to join in the fight against corruption. And ERCC is saying, contribute your quota in the fight against economic and financial crimes, no matter where you come from, no matter your religion, and no matter the language you speak. Join the ERCC and stand for the right thing. Always enjoy. Moki Onile, Moki Halejo, Pakwajilo, Bogomo Ududua, Karo Ojiri. Nile Loko, Lanejo, Atileni Udi. E quasco ye. Mofias go ye pay a key as you are, see why Jebrigera, see Amos corruption near the Gessie. Pay all the sea of fee, O lady, a tea as you are due, O lady one in Jeria. Eggy cockle that bushy. If I also walk for war, Lully, son in more less sea, you are Jebrigera, ni O lady one. Domans Hammy in the teacher illimi, I knew ye masikel, then the teacher as witty. Mahata Hanu da Garfi, may I get to Hanchi da Rashawa? They were Tetelang Arzikin Kasa, Zawan Kasa. Tata Ibo Kwan Rian Mon Ekale Mon Dumrin Dazo Ekale Chamo Majuaju Woki Riahu Lembo Jabu Ewo Woki Rion Lembo Jabu Ewo Opon Madu Kanaya Ona Hen Rego Yaga Rolo Yaro Ulo Uke Opon Kainaria Onya Rego Yaro Uzo Yaro Uzo Eben the Burugun Koni Yamu Ona Kainaria Wa Obiaka or Mpo Nawa Nana we are corruption na have a key Gini Kwanuji and you boa Oh madu form for juapa na okay ego okay gana to napa or you want jan you boa and you say who say no puna wa to madum ke basra ego eh mwa ekwe bielam no mugi he jikromunam puna wa no buda munaya and we he a jikromunaya do ki bene a biko ke moko ki macho coin ke mujin uro kola miedo kaki no uje by enwe bienen Ijole kwaje kalo na ku bia e o lo le wa it's a way you need corruption. And corruption, or I know your ma, the deep bed there. For your ma, Jim corruption in Ego government can move the four and one. Boy, you can go now. War or our or our offer. You go was supposed to get it. Be school, come on, oh, my one. So, I am Tiffy. 
aka ya ngen mzehe me utawase ka anye kwa chu mana felele shakwa nya uhembaya kamba uinjai don hene gume yo kase manon sopa aka anechi inayo ikbinda ayochi imyakanta mana kava na mzehe me ba hita awase simba kase defe mananza abone ngise ifase na handa ukang yen e komdo mfun nyini mi da ida ite ya nyini wan e kon iba corruption ya nyini yen eti usun eti ufo nwe eti upe mpo nyini na pukuru nyini na ida ida in wan e kon iba corruption afo darada pukuru nigerians ida ida e wan e kon corruption da ni bura ma ko ni tanwa o ni aye etina oboro oisi ete atebiri ozo eme ozo ma hi etini ri yoyi ye ma nyu boto bandira biam full be hedi to be taskaram ka kolara ni hala mosle chede malla jawle dun yolli en hander illaji ko tudi kolara ni hala soinde hite lantarke soinde labi soinde jangille soinde asibitiji malla nyawndolle ko hani ngaden bandira be full be kauten hore ngambo yigo en koni hala mosle chede my people, on our way don't know how now they. I gave a tattoo for now. This tattoo, if they worry me, if they worry you. Now the yama yama, the wuru wuru, the magu magu. Where would they call corruption? Where they kill us for this country? Because of corruption, we no get better road. Because of corruption, our hospital don't pafuka. Because of corruption, our life now zero over hundred. That's now why I say we could come together, we could fight this yama yama, wuru wuru, magu magu. Where would they call corruption? Economic and financial crimes constitute a major impediment to the economic growth and development of our dear country, Nigeria. Its devastating effect is evident on our bad roads, dilapidated hospitals, poor educational infrastructures, just to mention but a few. But if only we can come together, we will be able to defeat this common enemy. Uro Kolamedo, Kakin Najek Benwebienedun. Ono no che du ki no che bojeji me ba do gbere yo yi no wa ise o e do za man ato e mo za re amoku hai me na e komi na ka je ka lu nya ta lo ko nuru to da du du le pelu ji me mle ni ju o le ka je nya nu che la no li ola gbo nu che la no le bo le o le ma o ya ka je nya ko le je ko ku la lo ko le ko le hai lo ko ri o yo ka ko la lo ko chi ko le lo yi anya la o Mana go in by chin hanchi der shawa da yi wata tallin arziki zagon kasa ya ti ma ba usuno ka we magiri obo ye ogbeu kewe awo be me dan moyo nvenda chu my fie shakwa nya an ma kusi ke no go na lo make it mpo na go to madun ke gbasara ego no boda ni bo nigeria moduro lo di si iwa jegudi jera o me me be mo me ba ye me I want to tell you, corruption and corruption, Nana. Peggy Peggy, I want to come with you. If you want to, Peggy dear, mo, I want to go no to Urubu, Nana. I want to bar. Is it a guy? Mingo. I'm a whole la ngaiyungu. Do kolara ni aibeji chede malla jaule. Ami, madanda, ni wana kongba wivi no. Uba kwe dem ifonke. That's not why me I tanda gidigba to fight any wuruwuru magu magu nyama nyama where they happen for this Ubudu Nigeria. Today, I have resolved that I will stand against economic and financial crimes. This message is from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Yes, we all stand against economic and financial crimes, and you heard all Nigerians calling and reiterating their commitment in this fight. We want you to own the fight. We want you to be the foot soldiers in this crusade against economic and financial crimes. Yes, together we make Nigeria a better place. Join the EFCC in its crusade to rid Nigeria of economic and financial crimes including corruption nigeria is the only country we have and all hands must be on deck to salvage it 
We kick off today's program with a call made by the Executive Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Abdurashid Bawa, for the youths to collaborate with the Commission in the fight against economic and financial crimes. Bawa made the call when law students of Bayes University Abuja visited the Commission. In the same vein, the Secretary to the Commission, George Agban Ekungu, advocated that Nigerian youths should embrace discipline and integrity as a way of life. This charge was given when students of Economics Department Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida University Lapai in Niger State visited the commission on a study tour. Abbas Abubakar Umar has the details on the tour. Abdul Rashid Ba commended the student from Bayes University for choosing EFCC as preferred agency for their educational tour. He spoke to the Director of Public Affairs Department of the Commission, Osita Nwaja, and stressed the need for the student support towards a corrupt-free Nigeria and the development of the country. The EFCC, the work that we do here, is very, very, very essential to the development of uh, the nation. Uh, and um, we count on you, our very talented young uh, men and women, to help us, give us your support, uh, make, make the work that we do here count because everything comes back to uh, what we are doing, what we are giving to the society, how we are going to help the Nigerian state to get out of um, um, this cyclical um, developmental process. We're just going around and uh, there's very little movement forward because we are bogged down a whole lot by the issues of uh, corruption, the issues of economic and financial crimes, which the Commission was set up to deal with. Also speaking on the role of lawyers in the fight against corruption and financial crimes in Nigeria, Ata M. Ocholi observed that corruption weakens institutions and the economy. He also noted that the fight against corruption starts from the individual and urged the law students to be of good concerns and avoid doing evil. Your role as a legal practitioner, two, one, it starts with you. Make up your mind, I will not engage in corruption. I will not engage in money laundering. Did I define money laundering? I'm sorry. Money laundering is giving bad money a good name. Simply put, giving bad, mo good, bad money a good name. This money is a product of unlawful activity. But how do I paint it and make it look good? Speaking on the role of lawyers in combating cyber crimes, Chief Superintendent of the EFCC, Nwaka Daniel, called on the student to shun cyber crime because it is damaging the reputation of the country. He stated that Nigerians home and abroad are paying the price for cybercrime because of the dent Yahoo boys have inflicted on the reputation of the country. So, we're talking about cybercrimes. What is cybercrimes? Cybercrimes can simply be defined as any crime using a computer device. But the Cambridge Dictionary, according because we're lawyers, so let me go the highway. It says, a crime or illegal activity is done using the internet. Anything that you do negatively using the internet is a cybercrime. So what are the effects of cybercrimes? Loss of international reputation. It's so embarrassing. Most times when you travel out and bring out your green passport. Sometimes when you just see you holding your green passport and walking, the next one airport official comes to meet you. Sorry, sir. You've been single there for a search. Yes, so you just want to look at you. You're Nigerian, you're Nigerian. It's that population has you. The students who expressed gratitude for the warm reception accorded them were presented with the commission's publications as mementos. Abbas Abubakar Omar reporting for the Eagle. The Secretary of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, George Abangapungu, has charged Nigerian youths to embrace discipline and integrity as a way of life.
Ekpungu gave the charge when students of the Economics Department Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida University Lapai visited the headquarters of the commission in Jabi Abuja on an educational tour. Ekpungu said lack of self-discipline and integrity are the major problems bedeviling Nigeria as a nation and urged the youths as future leaders of the nation to inculcate the good habit of discipline and integrity as a way of life. He informed the students that the commission is working tireless in the recovery of stolen assets and blocking leakages in government agencies across the country. I welcome you back uh, here to EFCC and I wish you, you know, internalize whatever they have told you people because, you know, to become what you want to be, the first and most important thing in your life is self-discipline. You have to be able to discipline yourself. The easiest thing to do is to get carried away and I think that is part of the problem we have with um, corruption and abuse of um, power. Ekpungu also charged the students to use the user-friendly application Eagle Eye in reporting cases of fraud and corruption. In the same vein, Hate Enlightenment and Reorientation Unit of the Commission, Aisha Muhammad, charged the student to imbibe the values of hard work excellence and integrity as there are no shortcuts to success. She admonished them to be good ambassadors of the EFCC by showing good example in character and to expose any acts that fail the simple test of integrity. Speaking on cybercrime and its adverse effects on the Nigerian economy, Chief Superintendent of the EFCC, Nwaka Daniel, advise the students to shun all forms of cyber crimes and criminality, stressing that the activities of cyber criminals is ruining the good reputation of Nigeria and causing its good citizens their jobs, money and goodwill. Hacking, we all know that one now. Get into a system, scatter it for your own personal gain, either for financial reasons or just to show them that you can. Obtaining under false pretense. Oh, you go, woman. I'm in love with you. She will tell you she's in love with you too. If it's not you, I cannot sleep, I cannot breathe, I cannot die. Meanwhile, you have a wife and three children at home. You tell her, I'm single, I'm a US military officer serving in Afghanistan. They shot me in the leg, and I need $1,000 to go for operation. The innocent woman would think that she's chatting with a real military officer. Send it to $1,000. You say, my God, don't fall. You, you guys go clubbing. And our woman will follow him and be chopping the money. Not knowing that they are all guilty of obtaining under false pretense. Cyber terrorism. Oh. The EFCC, they have some confidential information. Let me try my color. You, you tap, tap, tap. If you can, you get into the EFCC website or if, if the EFCC systems. You pick up some safe information and sell it. Cyber terrorism. Cyber squatting. The EFCC's logo. You copy it. You got to open your own EFCC website. Or is EFCC.org.ng. You can put EFCC F1 or EFFCC. Open your own website. Start collecting money from people. And I can investigate your case for you. All you need to do is pay 200,000 naira. It happens. I deal with it every day. Abbas Abubakar Umar reporting for The Eagle. The Enugu Command of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has secured the conviction of 18 internet fraudsters before the Federal High Court Enugu in separate judgment. They were all convicted on one count charge of impersonation and obtaining by false pretense. Here are details of this conviction and another conviction report. 
The convicts are Mba Vox, Nzube Avinzi and Oshudi Ebube Sunday. Others are Kingsley Onyeoji Chukwe Meka, Nwoki Avinzi Daniel, Ngobodo Emmanuel, Chukwe Meka Emmanuel Ojara, Osinachi Charles Chinaza, Eze Diegu Innocent, Chima Bright Ojara, Onochi John Paul Avinzi, Ude Ifanyi and Chisom Omora. The rest are Mark Anthony Ijezie Chibuke, Ali Chibere Chedrag, Obina William, Chuku Jeku Michael Namdi, Nwokike Arenze Daniel and Jensen Chima Madweke. Five were convicted on Tuesday, November 16, 2021 and three on Thursday, November 18, 2021 before Justice F.O.G. Ogubanjo, while 10 convictions were secured before Justice I.M. Buba on Wednesday, November 17, 2021. Justice Ogubanjo sentenced eight of the defendants to two years' imprisonment with an option of one million naira fine, while Justice Buba sentenced 10 others to one year imprisonment with an option of one million naira fine. All the convicts are to forfeit their mobile phones to the federal government. Abbas Abubakar Umar reporting for the Eagle. <music> Similarly, the EFCC Ibadan Zonal Command has secured the conviction of seven internet fraudsters before Justice Uchi Agomo of the Federal High Court sitting in Ibadan, Oyo State. The convict are Williams Ikechuku Williams, Aizuba Opeemi Stephen, Damilari Godwin Oshore, Basit Oladeji Bamidele, Babajide Olua Pelumi Bolaji, Abayomi Stephen Aderohumu, and Oladokun Tobi Oladimeji. They were all convicted after pleading guilty to one count separate charge of fraudulently impersonating some foreigners. Contrary to Section 22, Subsection 2, B, I, and punishable under Section 22, Subsection 2, B of the Cybercrime Prohibition and Prevention Act 2015. Justice Agomo sentenced a sorry to 10 months imprisonment. Oladokun and Babajide were jailed 9 months each. Adero Humo, 7 months. Williams and Aizoba backed 5 months each while Bassett received one month's prison term. In addition to the jail terms, Oladokun was ordered to restitute his victim, Darlene Miller, the sum of 2,350 United States dollars and 565,369 naira 97 Kobo domiciled in his bank account. Adoromo was ordered by the court to pay the sum of seven hundred United States dollars, three hundred and fifty thousand fifty-eight naira, fifty-two kobo, domiciled in his Wema bank account, and four thousand eight hundred and sixty naira, fifty-four kobo, domiciled in his Polaris bank account, as restitution to his victim, Davida Henderson. Izoba was ordered to restitute his victim Janida Thea the sum of 1000 United States dollars Williams and Bassett were ordered to return the sum of 1600 United States dollars and 880 United States dollars as restitution to their victims through the federal government Abbas Abubakar Umar reporting for the Eagle you will agree with me that a lot needs to be done to salvage our youth. They are our future, and as rightly stated by an Indian scientist and politician, APJ Abdul Kalam, who says in a quote, If a country is to be corruption-free and become a nation of beautiful minds, I strongly feel there are three key societal members who can make a difference. They are the father, the mother, and the teacher. So please, this is a plea for everyone to join in making Nigeria a better place. This is a call to duty. Let us all join hands to make Nigeria great again. <music> Investing your resources today for a better tomorrow is what everyone prays for. But as you do, the EFCC wants to sound this note of caution. Be careful whom you give your money to invest for you. This is a scam alert. 
Scammers are on the loose in every part of the country in these hard times. Every day, men and women are defrauded by those they trust who use all forms of devious means in the name of investing platforms. Be careful what type of investment scheme you subscribe to. And if you have fallen into the hands of any investment scammer or suspect anyone of involving in investment scam, please report to the EFCC immediately. And that's how we end today's episode of The Eagle. Do not forget for matters relating to economic and financial crimes, please send an email to info at efcc.gov.ng. And to speak to our officers or representatives, you can call 0809-332244 and follow us on all our social media platforms at official EFCC. If you see fraud happening, use the EFCC mobile app, The Eagle Eye. Download the app. Follow the steps and report fraud on the go. You can also take pictures of corrupt practices and upload them. My name is Aisha Muhammad. Don't forget, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Do the right thing. Goodbye and may God bless Nigerian always. Please stay safe and be kind to one another.